Hey everybody, welcome back. This is podcast 6.4 and this is actually the process of cellular respiration and there's two processes we're going to be looking at. We have aerobic, A-E-R-O-B-I-C, aerobic respiration like aerobics workout type thing and we have anaerobic, A-N-A-E-R-O-B-I-C. So aerobic and anaerobic are two different things, but they both um, are part of the respiration cycle. And respiration, when it's aerobic, we're going to look at that one first. So right here, we're looking at aerobic respiration. This is respiration in the, pro in the presence of oxygen. So this is when our bodies are at rest. So if you're in class or you're at home and if you're just relaxing, there is plenty of oxygen in your system for your cells to create the energy that they need. Uh, and there's two steps to this. The first step in respiration is uh, called glycolysis. G-L-Y-C-O-L-Y-S-I-S. -S, glycolysis. And this happens outside the mitochondria. So this is happening outside of, of that energy producing organelle. So if we're looking at a mitochondria here and you got this kind of convoluted inside that inner membrane, the glycolysis happens over here outside and eventually will move into the middle but the glycolysis is outside of the mitochondria and this is when sugar is split okay we're taking a glucose and we're splitting it uh, into two molecules called pyruvate p-y-r-u-v-a-t-e so we're taking a glucose and we're spending some energy to split it into this pyruvate and you get two. Okay, and when this happens, that releases energy, and that energy is in the form of ATP. So glycolysis itself, just starting the chemical process of respiration, splitting that glucose into pyruvate, releases a little bit of energy as ATP, and your body can then use that. The second piece is called the Krebs cycle, K-R-E-B-S, named after the, the scientist that discovered it, the Krebs cycle. Similar to the light and the dark cycle with photosynthesis, one doesn't work without the other, glycolysis leads into the Krebs cycle. And this is what happens inside the mitochondria, and specifically this is in the matrix, in the mitochondrial matrix. Okay, so we're inside that membrane now in the middle. And all that you need to know is that pyruvate, oops, P-Y-R-U-V-A-T-E, that first molecule that we started with, so pyruvate is up here from the glucose. Pyruvate is split into smaller chemicals, and there's a whole slew of them, but you don't need to know anything about that. But the important thing about the Krebs cycle is that this releases even more ATP. And to be specific, we get 36 ATP molecules from the Krebs cycle. Okay, uh, In glycolysis, that first step, all you get is two. So the Krebs cycle gives us a ton, a ton, a ton of energy. And so again, it starts with the pyruvate from glycolysis. It happens inside the mitochondria and it gives us 36 ATP molecules as a result. So aerobic respiration is more efficient because of a high ATP yield. We get a lot of energy from it. Anaerobic respiration is the in re, I'm sorry, I can't even talk. Respiration in the absent in the absence of oxygen. So this is like when we're working out and you're you're jogging or you're running and your body starts to feel tired because you're even though you're breathing very, very hard, you're starting to need more energy than your body can produce using glycolysis and the Krebs cycle. And we start to respire anaerobically. Our cells are still making energy, but it's without oxygen. And the only ATP comes from glycolysis. So the Krebs cycle, there is no Krebs cycle. Okay, there is no Krebs cycle. The only ATP we get comes from glyco glycolysis, and we get two of them. And there's a couple other byproducts as part of this. In athletes, you'll notice that you start to feel tight. Well, it does something in, in humans, but it does something different in plants. And what it does is it produces alcohol, actually, in plants. This is called fermentation. 
So when cells are respiring using plant sugars, we, we start to ferment, and that's where alcohols come from. So it produces alcohol in plants, and it produces lactic acid in animals. So athletes, when you're running and you feel tight, your muscles hurt, and you got to get rid of that lactic acid, that is because your body is using anaerobic respiration to provide the energy that we need. Uh, so again, uh, looking back at respiration, we can have aerobic respiration, which is respiring with oxygen. We get a lot of energy from it. Or we have anaerobic respiration, which is when we are respiring in the lack of oxygen, and we only get a little bit of energy from it, and we have these two byproducts.